Action deflection. So he. Rambanyama! On the fly! 90% of the time. Thinking psychologically, right? To show that he can dribble the ball, like, right here. Going to point. With the cell. Rocketing down the lane. Basketball is a sport that has captured the hearts of millions of people around the world for decades. With the rise of new players every year, the basketball world is constantly evolving. One of the newest players to emerge in the basketball scene is Victor Wimbanyama. This young Frenchman has been making headlines around the world for his impressive height, skill, and potential. Some are comparing him to the legendary Ralph Sampson who was one of the most dominant players in the NBA's during the 1980s. In this old school b-ball video, we'll explore the parallels between the journeys of Victor Wimbanyama and Ralph Sampson, examining their similarities and differences and what this means for the future of basketball. After watching this video, you'll quickly learn that the hype of Victor Wimbanyama's skill set was already seen in the NBA, and that was from Ralph Sampson. Victor Wimbanyama is the talk of the NBA town right now. He was selected first overall in the 2023 NBA Draft by the San Antonio Spurs, who keep their history of landing the first pick and drafting a dominant big man alive. In the 1987 NBA Draft, the Spurs got the first overall pick and selected David Robinson, who instantly made the franchise into a title contender. The Spurs struck gold again in the 1997 NBA Draft when they received the first overall pick and selected Tim Duncan. Once Duncan arrived in San Antonio, the franchise became champions as Duncan led the Spurs to all five of their titles, including winning the franchise's first in just Duncan's second year. This is the goal for San Antonio, to have Victor Wimbanyama lead the franchise back to the promised land. The question is, can he? If you listen to the scouts, the Spurs have a great chance to create a new dynasty. Wimbanyama is a generational talent who was touted as the biggest draft prospect since LeBron James. Wimbanyama is also being considered a real threat to the GOAT title, as the league hasn't seen a talent like him before. Or has it? First, let's take a look at Wimbanyama's game. Wimbanyama was officially measured and listed as 7 foot 3.5 inches tall. For a player this height, you'd instantly think of a player who plays with his back against the basketball and dominating the paint. This is not how Wimbanyama plays the game. Despite his size, the Frenchman plays like a guard. He has elite skills at handling the ball, dribbling, passing, and even shooting the ball. This includes from three-point range. Last season, Wimbanyama played for the Metropolis 92 in the French league known as LNB Pro A. Wimbanyama averaged 21.6 points, 10.4 rebounds, and 3.1 blocks per game, leading the LNB Pro A in each category. Many believe Wimbanyama will be able to walk into the NBA and produce these types of numbers or better right away. Will he be able to achieve this? This we won't be able to know until the season starts. But one thing we do know is that many fans might not know is that before Wimbanyama was even born, a player with similar attributes and skills was playing in the NBA. The player we're talking about is Ralph Sampson. Like Wimbanyama, Sampson would start his NBA career on an NBA team from the great state of Texas. Sampson would not play for the San Antonio Spurs, but instead for the Houston Rockets. Samson would be like Wimbanyama in his appearance, as he stood 7 foot 4 inches and was extremely skinny. This is just the first comparison between the two, but it goes further than just looks. Samson was unique for his time, as he was a center who was extremely agile for his size. He also played facing the basket instead of having his back to it. This helped the Rockets defeat the Los Angeles Lakers 4-1 in the Western Conference Finals to advance to the NBA Finals. 
Samson played next to NBA great Hakeem Olajuwon, who played more like a traditional center with his back to the basket. Together, the Twin Towers, as they were known, overwhelmed Laker great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to earn this series victory. The reason for this has a lot to do with Samson's unique style of play. If Samson played as similarly to Olajuwon, not only would they not have had the team's success, but the two big men would have likely gotten into each other's way. Samson was incredible at facing the basketball and using his dribbling skills to get by his defender, like the skills Wimbanyama possesses. With Samson's ability to pull his defender out of the paint, along with Elijah Wan's superior post skills, Kareem and the Lakers had no answer for the Rockets. This was explained perfectly by sports journalist Bill Simmons on his podcast. But the Samson thing, it was like this guy's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but he thinks he's a guard. Simmons said about Wimbanyama, he certainly felt like the successor to Wilt Chamberlain and Kareem. And then he actually was successful as a basketball player, right? The Rockets made the finals. They kicked the shit out of the Lakers. And the big reason was he was able to play facing the basket with Hakeem Olajuwon. So to me, that's the Wimbanyama blueprint. Samson was the original unicorn of the league, and his story is inspiring yet heartbreaking at the same time. Samson was born on July 7, 1960, in Harrisonburg, Virginia. By the time Samson reached the ninth grade, everyone knew basketball would be in his future. Samson already stood 6'7 as a ninth grader, and he quickly shot up to 7'1 later in high school. As a senior, Samson averaged 30 points, 19 rebounds, and 7 blocks per game. Samson's play caught the attention of many universities, but Samson ended up choosing to attend the University of Virginia. Another similarity between Samson and Wimbanyama is how they were recruited. As mentioned early in the video, Wimbanyama was the biggest draft prospect since LeBron James back in the early 2000s. Back in the 1980s, Samson was the most recruited college basketball prospect of the era. Samson appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated six times in less than four years during his college career. Why was Samson so sought after while he was in college? Samson averaged 17 points, 11 rebounds, and 3.5 blocks per game in his four years at Virginia. Samson led Virginia to an NIT championship his freshman year and an NCAA Final Four as a junior. Samson won three Naismith Player of the Year awards, which makes him just one of the two players that have won the award three times. Yes, Samson was that good. He was a player the basketball world had never seen, and he was ready to take his talents to the NBA and destroy the competition with his unique ability. Samson's NBA career would start off with a bang, proving the predictions right. He won Rookie of the Year after averaging 21 points, 11.1 .1 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks per game. Samson would continue his dominance over the first three seasons, averaging 20.7 points, 10.9 rebounds, and two blocks on 50.5% shooting. He would also win the MVP in the 1985 All-Star Game after posting 24 points on 10 for 15 shooting while adding 10 rebounds. The last similarity between Samson and Wimbanyama is really hypothetical. Many analysts and fans alike worry about Wimbanyama's health. As we've seen time and time again, tall players, especially tall skinny players, suffer injuries that ruin their careers. This was exactly what happened to Sampson. He suffered a major cartilage tear in his left knee during the 86-87 season. After his injury, Sampson was never quite the same, and he'd be out of the league after the 1991-92 season. This was a shame, as Sampson could have gone down as a true greatest of all time competitor if he never got injured. Will Victor Wimbanyama avoid the injury bug and remain healthy throughout his career? If so, Will Wimbanyama's unique skills help him land in the greatest of all time conversation? Or will injuries flame Wimbanyama's career out like it did Samson's? We won't know these answers until we watch Wimbanyama's career play out. But just remember, no matter how unique Victor Wimbanyama may seem, there was a player who possessed the same physical and basketball skills, and that was the great Ralph Sampson.